Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this lesson dedicated to emergency plans for cultural heritage institutions. Um, in this part, we are describing all the phases that are necessary for the drawing up of an emergency plan for a museum. We have already seen the first phase, which is the collection of all the documents and useful information that are already in possession of, an, of the museum and the check of all of these information through an inspection. Now we will talk about the second phase, which is the flow analysis. Once the inspection is over, our efforts must be dedicated to gathering all the available information and investigating the different flows of use of the museum spaces. For this purpose, it is first of all necessary to identify the different opera operational scenarios of the Institute and to define the different ways of entering and using the spaces um, for museums, employees, visitors and external collaborators. So first of all, it is necessary to identify the circumstances the, uh, during the week when the audience uh, is present inside the building. We then uh, have to start to define the opening times and days, but also to analyze the standard procedures for organizing uh, events and exhibitions. And the goal here is to analyze all the attendees inside the museums at different times and days um, to try to identify uh, the moments in the overall organization of the museum that might represent a vulnerability as they subject the institution to certain risks. Um, in this slide, you can see some of the elements uh, that are useful for defining the different flows of use of museum spaces. So um, as you can see, for example, the opening times of the museum, so when the public can enter the museum, uh, the alarm activation and disactivation procedures, um, the organization for the access control and the distribution of keys and badges, uh, basically who can go where, the maintenance procedures, so uh, the procedures for entering of the external collaborators, um, as well as the setup procedures of the exhibitions, so who can enter the museum's um, area and what is the organization of the entering of, for example, um, transport uh, firms, uh, set, setting up firms and so on. And also all the active systems um, when the museum is closed. So for example, the alarms or the system um, for um, fire risks and so on. So, in this slide, you can see some examples of possible um, risk scenarios that can be created. So, for example, we have the first risk scenario is uh, from Monday to Friday from 10.30 to uh, 5.30 um, in the afternoon where the museum is open and the offices are open. So, for example, in this scenario, the exhibition areas are open, the bookshop is open, the bar is open, the offices are operational, and there are ordinary activities in the warehouses. For example, a second risk scenario could be during uh, weekends, because maybe Saturday and Sunday the museum is open, but the offices are closed. So, as you can tell, uh, these... Um, creates a completely different um, type of risk and type of vulnerability to certain kinds of risks. A third scenario could be, for example, the museum closed and um, alarmed, so both the exhibition areas and the offices are closed. So these could be some of uh, the risk scenario that could be identified in this um, phase. And once the operational scenarios have been identified, it is advi advisable to 
try to define the flow of views by all of um, those who move within the museum's um, areas. So for this purpose, um, it is advisable to create special floor plans for each operational scenario using arrows to indicate the routes of the visitors, of the internal staff, of external collaborators in the museum spaces with different colors. So as you can see from these floor plans, it is um, immediately um, visible which are the areas that are most vulnerable because maybe they do, uh, they do not have a security system active or maybe they represent um, an area uh, where the public can access or stuff like that. Thank you very much. That's it for this phase. And I will see you in the next lessons for the other phases.